Stacks, what are they and how do we smash them? Say you're building a boat, you have a series of steps required to build that boat and a workspace to build it in, but you get stuck. So you go to Google and start looking around. Each time you look at something, you make a note of where you're up to so that you know where to jump back to when you're done. You look around a bit more and find what you're looking for and decide to send someone an email. Once you've sent that, you see an email telling you about a super important problem. You need to fix it right now, but <gasps> it's an attacker trying to trick you. In this case, the attacker was able to trick the user into clicking a link in their email, which then led to them compromising the computer. For computers, the to-do list is code and the workspace is what we call the stack. The stack starts at the bottom region of memory and grows up as more functions and programs are called, each of their own stack frame. Now consider this simple program. It prints, enter your name. It then gets your name, so you enter Mr. Joe, and it saves it as name. It then prints hello, and then name, so hello, Mr. Joe. Let's see what this looks like under the hood. So we have the code we just saw on the left, and our empty stack on the right. The current instruction is print, enter your name. So we push the string, enter your name, onto the stack, and then we push the address of the next instruction so we know where to jump back to. Each function has its own stack frame that it can use for local variables. Before another function is called, the address you want to return to is put on the top of the stack. Print does its thing, and then we jump back to our main program and call getName. GetName will then set aside some space on the stack to store the user's input, Mr. Joe, and then copies this into the main stack frame because data inside a stack frame isn't meant to last after its function returns, so it needs to copy it across. But wait, what happens if the getName function doesn't check how much data is read in? In that case, if you can read in as much data as you want, you can go past your allocated amount, and this is what we call smashing the stack. If you're clever, you can change the return address to the address of your own input on the stack and execute your own code. This is called shellcode, and I have a bonus video on Patreon walking through how to write shellcode. And I'll be posting more in-depth videos there for the bonus pack supporters, as well as other fun stuff too.